fuck? Oh my, what a magnificent snouch, my boy. You've got a bone structure many kinds can only dream of. Thanks, I grew it myself. Of course. Your kind has its own inherited problems, but I'd love to take a closer look, if you don't mind. Perhaps there's a correlation. A look at what? Could you bury your teeth like so? Say, rar. Rar. Fascinating. No sign of overbite. Slight concave curve to the canines. No yellowing at the base or the tip, but not too pale. Overbite. Overbite signify lower eth ethical standards, resulting in aberrant behavioral patterns. You're not a sexual deviance, are you? Overbite me. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? I want to ask otherwise. Ah, never mind then. Concave curve indicates that your intellect is at lower level than usual for folk carnivores, but not too bad. I imagine you're a creative sort. I dabble. Gel science triumphs again. <laughs> what kind of science is this? Odontology. It's a way to predict the social economic stratification of different kinds. I've published a manuscript on the topic. Wow. You're more than welcome to visit, visit me at my office for a closer inspection at your magnificent jaw. Goodbye now. Crazy dentist. Oh, look at it. It's a sphinx. She's a sphinx. Oh no, you! The fucking, the fucking bunny! I, I, I got out of business. Hey Mo, get your papers. Is that you, Bo? No, I'm Mo. Who's Bo? Oh, it's the brothers. The rabbit from Granville. Shush, go away. You're scaring off my clients. Uh, what's happening locally? What's happening? Like what? Seeing any suspicious traffic? Nope. Got better things to do than count cars. I got news to sell. Any funny locals I should watch out for? I'm funny. You're very local. Wanna hear a joke? Sure. Peekaboo. Don't get it. Pika is a kind of rodent, right? You play peekaboo with babies. Ghosts say boo. So the ghost of a dead rodent says what? Peekaboo. Get it? Anything spooky going on? Yeah, man. The pigeons are getting crazy. Somebody's gonna poison the bastards. Cut no. I'm telling you, or else we're gonna have Wizard Plague Part 2 on our hands. Geezers don't deserve the hate. You got respect you got respect for dirty, mindless birds now? What's next? You opening the door for a cockroach? Literally you. <laughs> Need anything else? You got anything a lazy driver, taxi driver would enjoy? You want news, crosswords, or got a little something something for grown-ups? No, 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 I don't want pornography. I thought dirty mags were illegal. It's a coloring book that has suggestive things to color in. Perfectly legal. Maybe not that exciting. Maybe the crosswords then? We only got ones for kitties left. Perfect, so thank you. The price is one loan. Thanks. Oh Jesus. Shady cats. <gasps> oh. Ah. It looks official to me. Impressive. Hold well on, Grandpa. See you next week. Hello, name's Louise. What can I do for you on this fine day? Do you sell Starling Cider? Of course, my friend. But if you want refreshing, perhaps I can recommend you my, my very own light stout. I have apple, sherry, and blueberry infused varietals. But I love Starling Cider the most, and you just got a fresh delivery. Oh well, but I have some in stock already. It's perfectly good. If you like to buy in fresh from the crate, I'll make it worth your while. Ah, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I have to uh, take inventory and uh, there's a bookkeeping. Why so flustered, Louis? Something wrong? Sir, this is my shop. I won't be harangued. I won't be harangued like this in my own shop. Now please purchase something or leave immediately. Louis. In truth, I'm a journalist. Few questions and I'm gone, okay? A journalist? There's nothing 
But if you make you happy, uh, and leave me alone. Uh. Got any briars for those crates? I, I mean, I haven't even packed them, I told you, but you know how about a free sample of my own porter? <laughs> You're not gonna get me drunk. I just, I like to share my own brews, that's all. Where are you buying those? Who, where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I'd love to only sell my own brews, but sadly people are slow to love them. If they had more taste, then then. Do you sell any of your stuff to the buy? No, I love for them to stock my own brand stouts. But so far they've not taken me off on the offer. Have you heard of Clarissa Bloodworth? Uh, I've heard of her. Who hasn't shown that bar the bite? I think it's called. <laughs> Ever met her? No. Gosh, she's not the kind of person you just run into. What's in the crates, Louise? You talk, or bad things will happen. Sir, please, I don't know what you want to hear, but the shop is my life. I'm a rational guy, Louise. This could be painless. Talk about what? You wouldn't understand. I mean, if there were something... You don't have to do this alone. And, and what? Even if my position is unique, it's not fair. You have no idea. <laughs> Help me understand. I'm on Team Louis. You just made things worse. You know what I'm doing, and I hate Clovis. Uh, I suppose if you find a way into the storage room after I drop this key, take a look. Don't go anywhere. Let me see. It's a closed wooden crate. Expected a close. There's a faded Starling Cider logo on the side. The box is a simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. The lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it, and there's no obvious way to open it. <laughs> Think about the box hard. <laughs> this crate is what you've been looking for, but part of you didn't want to find it. Now you found it. Good job. Punish the crate. You slam a fist into the crate, it barely notices, but the lid does pop sli slightly out of its resting place. Your hand aches, but you're proud of your masculinity. <laughs> Remove the lid and look inside. Beneath the lid are a number of small packages individually wrapped in thick, in thick silvery paper. Come on, don't pick again, you can do this. You peel back a layer of the silvery paper to review a neat square of flesh. Sniff. There's a melange of intoxicating scent, sweet, fatty, with notes of acid tongue. Inspect. The flesh is light pink with a striated texture. Can fucking do this, I've seen enough. Jesus. What you doing with the flesh? So you saw it? Illegal fish fillets? It's a dangerous black market. You think I don't know what fish smells like? Ah, some don't smell as fishy as you think. When did you find out what was in the crates? Only recently I was told not to look, but I had to know. If only I hadn't, then I could just pretend. Tell me everything, no one else will give you this chance. But but if she finds out I told anyone, I'll get thrown over the wall, you understand? If you tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. My name is Howard, by the way. Oh, Howard, I don't know about you, but I need a stiff drink. <laughs> sure, fill me up. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> but those are almost a joke. Hi. <laughs> Some whiskey for courage. Shefford knows I'm going to need it for somewhere. How did you end up with boxes full of flesh, Louise? I didn't have a choice. Fate has conspired against me. Maybe it was a hard choice, but you still had one. No, I did not. I never understand. Just try to explain it to me. 
It's just, why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. Just work hard and pay their taxes. It's the damn city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Her? Someone close to you? Miss Bloodworth is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop, but the loans wouldn't have lasted. Keeping her alive, how? Leah is ill. <gasps> Leah Williamson? Too ill to work, he needs medication for life, and it's expensive. The doctors with blood worth, the meds are paid for and never late. What do you do with the boxes? Nothing. Just look after them until they're de re delivered. Delivered? A woman calls, asks for the usual. I get one of my boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. The caller, who is she? Her name is Bajwa. Oh, I can tell you, sir. I can write down the address for you. It's my head of blood worth. Her. It's my head if Bloodward hears of this. Secret safe with me, I promise. Thank you for understanding and for listening. Thank you, Louis. I have to go now. Go? What are you going to do? I'm going to find out more about this Bajwa character. You weren't, f you weren't forced into this like I was. Why get involved with such nasty business? I rage here, you won't like where it leads you. You do your job, I'll do mine. Just please swear you won't tell anyone about this. I can live in fear. You have my word. Thank you. Shepherd guides you. Sure he does. Like he guided you. I think it's time he left, sir. One last question. When is this Bajawa expecting delivery? Uh, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She's expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Tell Joey he's got the day off. I'll take the cigars. <laughs> You can't still suspect, and if it gets back to me, Leah. Trust me, I do this all the time. Give me the cigars. Fine. Can't stop you. My life may be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Stay safe, Louis. Take them on the house. Thank you. Poor Louis. Eu ainda explodi o peixe dele, meu Deus, ele tá tendo um péssimo dia.